Hey everyone, and welcome to my review of Bluehost. So I've tried quite a few of the popular web hosting platforms in my time, and I can say that knowing what I wanted to get out of my website in the first place really made all the difference in terms of helping me decide which specific web hosting platform that I ended up using. Because each one of them has some of the same, but many different features. And the one that you end up choosing is gonna largely depend on the type of website that you have to build or maintain. When I was starting my latest website, I had already had a ton of freelance experience with SiteGround, HostGator, DreamHost, Elementor, and GoDaddy. But when I came across Bluehost, I was pretty amazed at how well they managed to simplify the hosting and web development aspects of the web design process, which in my opinion differed from a lot of tools like Elementor or Shopify that I feel tend to work better for e-commerce stores. So after having used Bluehost to build my latest website, in this video, I'll go over a few of the tools and features as well as give you my honest experience with them. I'll talk about what I liked and some things that I thought could be an issue for people depending on the purposes of your website. And I'll also give you a breakdown of their costs to help give you a better idea if they're what you're looking for in a web hosting platform or not. And if at any point you want to check them out with a little bit of a discount, check out the link that I left in the description because it'll automatically apply a discount that won't be available if you go straight to their website. Okay, so for those of you who don't know much about Bluehost, they started in 2003 and offer web and VPS hosting, as well as really functional and helpful tools for the actual website building process. In terms of the features, they have different tools that help a lot in terms of having the space you need, as well as giving you the ability to scale your website pretty much on demand. And from my perspective, one of their biggest features is their drag and drop WordPress web builder, which is the tool that for me made all the difference when I built the website. It made the whole build so much faster and smoother than I was used to. And I've been building websites for about eight years now. Now to sign up, you're gonna have to choose from one of their four main plans. So if you're used to Elementor or Shopify for e-commerce, you might need a little adjusting to the way that their layout looks because you can of course use Bluehost for e-commerce, but it's designed to make all sorts of websites, not specifically e-commerce ones. And in terms of security, they give you a lot of options like shared hosting, multiple antivirus and firewalls, as well as a VPS or virtual private server hosting, which can add a layer of extra security, especially for websites that have more sensitive data, like for example, customers' credit card information, as well as over 100 gigs of data and unmetered bandwidth. So let's take a deeper look at what they offer in terms of plans and their costs to help you decide whether you'd like to use them or not. The plans are split up into four categories, like dedicated and shared hosting, VPS hosting, just like I mentioned, and cloud hosting, so let's get into it. The first plan is the shared hosting plan, which starts at around three bucks a month for one website, a domain name, and 10 gigs of storage. Their hosting plans can go up to the online store plan in this category, which has up to 100 gigs of data and unlimited websites for you to build, as well as some of the additional features you might need if you'd like to start off with some really helpful tools. Now, for those of you looking for more security, say if you have more sensitive data on your website, you may want to consider VPS web hosting, which basically stores your data on a server that's run through a VPN or virtual private network. It helps to encrypt a lot of more sensitive data, like your IP address, to keep your website more anonymous and more safe. And in terms of plans, VPS plans offer a lot of options, like up to 240 gigs of storage, unmetered bandwidth, and up to eight gigs of RAM for a bit over 140 bucks a month. And for those of you who anticipate a lot of traffic to your site at first, you might need to look into a dedicated server plan, which gives you access to 16 gigs of RAM, as well as unmetered bandwidth each month, which you shouldn't even come close to needing unless you're looking at building a huge website that you know is gonna be gigantic right away. It starts at around 110 bucks a month and I'd highly recommend checking out the annual plan here because it can save you a bunch of cash each month. And if you're interested in saving even more money with them, like I mentioned earlier, be sure to use the link that I left down in the description as again, like I mentioned, it'll automatically give you a discount that you wouldn't be able to get if you went straight to their website. Now. Bluehost does function mainly in WordPress, which is true of about 60% of the websites on the internet, which makes them the gold standard. And the majority of the web building side of things is done with a drag and drop system that makes setting up a website pretty straightforward. 
The other nice thing that I really liked about them is that their uptime or website speed is really, really fast and has always been reliable, meaning you get a really responsive site without, at least in my experience, any lag or too long load times. I also really like that they offered three different antivirus programs and a firewall, so you can be pretty confident that your website will always be protected. So now that I've gone over some of what they offer, some things that I really like about them, and roughly how much they cost, I'd like to get into a few of the negatives that I experienced that may or may not be an issue for you. Firstly, Bluehost does pretty well in terms of offering service to people looking to scale or customize their plans to their liking or needs. If the site you want to build doesn't need to look good or function well, you might be able to get away with using a simpler or cheaper platform. But for those of you who need or want a little more in terms of features like storage space and high amounts of RAM for processing lots of data quickly, we'll find Bluehost to be a really, really solid platform to use. One other issue, and this is really for shared hosting in general and not specific to Bluehost, it's that generally the downside of shared hosting is that if you get too much traffic on your site, the server will be at capacity, which will slow you as well as any other websites that share the server down. So if you're expecting lots of traffic, or say you're running an e-commerce site that gives special deals around the holidays, something like that, you might want to think about not sharing hosting, at least during those times, because the last thing you want to do is have your website crash during the major shopping season or something like that. Now, Bluehost does offer quite a lot in terms of performance that I really liked, such as being able to scale up how much storage or the type of hosting plan you chose easily. And I also found that they made VPS really accessible as well. And as I said, the website uptime or loading speeds are really good, which means you most likely won't have to worry about much like slowdown or long load times. And I really like that all their plans offered Cloudflare protection, which is software that prevents DDoS attacks or dedicated denial of service, which is basically when attackers or hackers flood your site with a bunch of fake traffic to slow it down or prevent it from functioning normally. And attacks like that wreak havoc on sites every day, causing them to crash. So being protected is always a good idea. Now, would I recommend Bluehost to you? The answer is yes. I would recommend them because they have so many different features on offer and simplify the process of creating and hosting your own custom website. So while there are a lot of other services out there that give you simpler features that you might need at a lower price, which may possibly be ideal for you if you're looking to purely save money, if you're looking for something that's designed with more options for a wider range of uses, in terms of the types of sites that you're looking to build, then you definitely wanna look into checking out Bluehost, and I do fully recommend them for that purpose. They're fully loaded with everything you'll need to build and launch a website, and they have all the security in place to keep that website up and run it without any issues like crashes or DDoS attacks. So that about sums up my review of Bluehost, and I do hope that I give you a good idea of what they're like to use and whether they'll be what you're looking for or not. So I will say that in my experience, running any kind of website can get tricky pretty quickly if you're a beginner. And sites like Bluehost will definitely help you learn the ropes and get you set up easily. And if you do want to check out Bluehost again with a bit of a discount, feel free to check the link that I left down in the description as it'll instantly get you a discount that you wouldn't find if you went directly to their website. Now, there are a lot of things to discuss when covering website design. So if you still have any questions you like answered, feel free to leave a comment on this video and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, be sure to like and subscribe for more honest reviews like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.